um, and welcome to the launch of our new Enviro 400 uh, City Bus. But it's been a very strong collaborative approach. Um, ADL have listened to us as a customer. Um, they've worked with us um, to design everything around sort of like our wants and needs. They, they've produced um, magic, absolute magic. This is a vision for Blackpool Transport to replace all their fleet within five years and this is the start of the journey. That's the new Enviro 400 City. Uh, these are the only vehicles of their kind outside of the capital and we are just so fantastically overwhelmed to have them here in Blackpool. Our residents deserve to ride on, you know, brand new spanking buses. They're the ratepayers. The reason they're called palladium is the palladium metal is used in catalytic converters, which actually converts 90% of harmful gases, so hence palladium. Collaboration has been the buzzword right from the day one. We, we hijacked uh, one of the buses that had been down at the show uh, in Birmingham. Charlie and Richard, both from ADL, uh, brought the vehicle into the depot. We were really, really impressed. We set them the task of designing a provincial specification vehicle to the standards that, that we wanted. We've worked in partnership all the way through. They are British buses and it's been a brilliant collaboration with Alexander Dennis. We took uh, driving staff and engineering staff up to the factory in, in Falkirk and it's and we've just, just been one big collaboration. The passengers will enjoy the most futuristic, stylish buses in the marketplace today. They're absolutely spectacular. Uh, from an interior point of view, we've designed the cab so that the, um, the staff feel absolutely comfortable in there. The interior of the bus is wooden floored to a very high specification. We've got e-leather seating, great for the environment but looks good. We've got next stop at audio announcements. There's um, Wi-Fi on there, USB charging points, and beautiful panoramic windows. So we've got extra seating, so it's there for, you know, young families, it's there for the disabled. We want people to come out and use them. Blackpool and ADL working as a combined team. The future is bright and this is just the start of the journey and really you just need to watch this space. Blackpool Council have been really supportive. Um, they're behind us and uh, if these buses do well, then we'll be putting another order in uh, for 25 um, before the end of August. I would like to thank everyone for coming here today and in particular, my amazing team at Blackpool Transport. I'd also like to thank ADL and I would like to thank the shareholder at Blackpool Council and the board of Blackpool Transport.